Because now that we have everything uh, scaled down, perfect, everything's still the same, no changes made to the null, but it will help. It does change the, the track. So now we're going to go to Layer, New, Solid. We're going to name the solid uh, Clock. How about that? All right, make it comp size and make it black, any color you want actually. Just hit OK. Now we're going to go to layer, I mean effect, video copilot, element. Now we have this element thing, this is the plugin. We have group one, two, three, four, five, and then we have scene setup. So we're, we're, first we're going to click right into scene setup. So this is going to pop up. Uh, if you just download it, if you just downloaded this and not any of the packs, you'll just have like these things, starter pack. I like the alarm clock, it's probably like the best one here. Let it load up. This is our alarm clock. Uh, it's pretty high poly. Eee, look at that spin. If we put on environment in the back, looks pretty cool. Or if you right click and move, you'll actually see that rotate around. Or draft, take off draft textures, maybe. Right. So that's our uh, little clock. Now we're gonna hit OK, and wait. Scene setup. We're gonna put it on group one, okay? And hit OK. Sorry, I missed that. And we're going to group one. Particle look, and particle replicator, and we're also gonna just move down the position in the Z axis. So. Or increase it so it moves back a bit and there we go and as you can see when you play through it's not really on the ground is it that's because the anchor point of the object isn't the bottom so right now we're gonna go back into scene setup we're gonna scroll down for anchor point right here we're gonna for anchor point right here we're gonna hit bottom so now you'll hit OK and uh, all right, we're just gonna go to particle look, size this down a bit, so it's not like you know a giant big clock. Size it down, move it up a bit. Yeah, I can tell it's way too big. Maybe a good three. All right, and now as you see, it's tracked in. All right, maybe if we rotation, we rotate it on the Y axis. Move it, maybe. Right, let's make the face this way. It looks cooler like that. I like it like that. All right. As you can see, it's now tracked in perfectly. So we'll hit RAM preview just to run it faster a bit. It's act, it's tracked in very well, as you can see. It's actually touching the ceiling over there. We have to fix that. But, so we have this now, we still see, you know, it's not the right color or anything, it's still actually kind of too big, so I'll just size that down, maybe a 2, okay, yeah, how about that, and we'll ram preview that one more time, alright, so now it is tracked in perfectly, but color, everything still doesn't match, right? So now what we want to do is to hit, first you'll see that the outs, actually don't create a light yet, I, you'll see on the outside it doesn't really match our scene. There's actually a good environment for this we can use. So we, we can go to, um, go to environment at the top, go down, studio warm is actually a really good environment, as you can it, it really like matches the environment we have in the garage so that's really good and we'll hit OK as you can see the colors changed a bit it does look a bit better but we really do have to fix it scene setup maybe it's not like rotating like that over there like that. Hit OK doesn't really do anything does it I feel like an idiot Okay, so now what you want to do is go to if layer, new, light. Let's make it an ambient light. 
And we're going to choose the color as around right there. We'll make the intensity 30%. All right. I'm going to hit light one or light ambient. All right. And hit OK. So now the colors changed a bit more. It does look a bit better. It does. It fits into the scene much better, I have to say. Um, now let's create another light layer, new light. Um, let's make this a parallel light. So parallel. Did I spell that right? I don't know. I don't know how to spell. Okay. So we made it a parallel light. And let's just make that light also that color. Maybe make this intensity 80. Okay. All right. So our light's over here now. Let's try to match it up with right there. So basically, whichever way the, the, the line is pointing, light will be directly like going right onto it. And then we can duplicate that. And, uh, I don't know. All right. So, see what happens when we take these out. And the ambient light. All right. Okay, now. So now it looks really nice. We just need a shadow to actually show that it's touching the ground, or else it just looks like you know it's on the ground, no contact with the ground really. So you have to make sure that people understand that they're, they're touching the ground. It's actually in the scene. So I'm just gonna do a really basic shadow. So create a new layer, new solid, name the shadow. All right, hit OK. I don't know, take the ellipse, ellipse mask tool and uh, actually no, I'll just cut it with the pen tool. I normally just create a random shape and then just fix it up later, but it really depends on like what you think about it. Make it a 3D layer, damn. Hit P to for position and we're just gonna, we're just gonna move it in the Z axis. So as you can see, it's moving back a bit more now, all right. That's cool. Now let's hit R, rotate it. So rotate it on the X axis to run flat with the ground. And shadow actually goes under the clock, right? So it goes down. Um, hit V. All right, so now we just have to slowly position it. So go back to B, and then, yeah, hit S, scale it down a bit. And actually just hit F to feather it a bit. So we're slowly making this mask, this shadow. All right, and oh, looks nice. Okay. So, go back to P, position it again. All right, put it right there. Slowly change it down. All right. Out. It's an awkward shape right now. All right. So once you have finished the shadow, so you can tell that there it looks much better. It's actually in the scene now. And yeah. You can slowly fix the shadow a bit, maybe make it a bit harder, the shadow. Um, shrink it down. All right. Fix it up maybe a bit right over here. Okay now, 
Now you can see the shadow looks much better. Well, we're in preview this thing. And, uh, yeah. So this is looking really nice. Um, play it and preview it faster. So the shadow looks really nice. You can tell there's contact with the ground between the clock and the ground. Shadow is just something that makes it look so much nicer. If I move it forward just a bit. Alright. So yeah, that's it guys. Uh, I hope this tutorial helped you in future projects or anything. Um, please, if you know, like the video, if you like it, I get what? If you like the video, if you like the video, then you know, hit smash the like button. But if you don't want to, I completely understand. You know, don't have time or anything. If you really like this or you want to like keep up with what I'm going to be doing, then subscribe. But still, if you don't want to, I, I fully understand. And uh, yeah, bye guys.